In Tableau 2020.3, Tableau have added some additional functionality to PDF subscriptions to allow you to change the format of the PDF. Let me show you how that works. For this one, I'm actually gonna to go to one of my old visualizations here of the Barcelona Marathon. What I wanna do is export this as a PDF subscription. This isn't, this isn't a good use case for a subscription, but it's a nice way to show you what the PDF subscription can do. I'm gonna hit the subscribe button. You can just see that it's up here at the top. If I just bring my cursor up here, you can just see that this is the option here to subscribe. So if I hit that, you will now see that I get the standard interface um, to change the format here and go to PDF. And now what you can do is you can actually change these specific sizes. Previously, this wasn't possible. And you can also do this once you've created the uh, subscription. So I'm gonna choose unspecified. It's actually a pro tip to choose unspecified because what this does is it means Tableau creates the highest quality PDF it possibly can. And then when you zoom in, it just looks crisp all the time. And then when you then go to export it or print it, well, the PDF tool automatically scales it down to fit whatever paper size you're printing on. So you don't actually need to choose a paper size up front. But it's a little bit unintuitive, but trust me, it works really, really well. And the quality of the unspecified paper sizes is just much better than if you choose A4 where it pre-renders it to that specific size. So let's choose unspecified. Let's go to landscape for this particular visualization. I'm gonna subscribe myself and I'm gonna set it to uh, pretty much, maybe not once, a, maybe not every day, uh, maybe let's say uh, weekly and maybe even monthly. Let's just avoid getting spammed on my inbox and maybe in a month's time I'll remember that I set this up. So hit subscribe and now that's done, okay? Now if I go back to explore, you're probably wondering, well, where do I check where the subscription is, has been set up? Well, that's not anywhere in the content hierarchy. Subscriptions are actually alert, so they don't typically turn up as content. And that's what the explore section is about. It's about content. So to find your subscription, you must first have access to the subscriptions that you've created. And then if you go to tasks, you can see here that I've got my extract refreshes. And over here, uh, third option from right, I've got the option for subscription. Let me just highlight that for you as well right there. Now, if I click on that tab, you'll see that I've got my name here. I've got the actual visualization and it's a PDF. Now, if you wanna change that format, you just hit these three dots and you can go ahead and change the format. And you specifically get the option to change the page size and the orientation. Maybe something wasn't working in an email or a document and you want the next one to be correct. You can go in here and change that to portrait or change it back to landscape. And notice if I change it to what it was before, this option is grayed out. If I change it to something new, then there's actually something to change. So that's a really nice feature to sort of stay, stop you doing unnecessary changes as it were. But that's pretty much the feature in a nutshell. The other thing you can do is using the REST API, you can also set up subscriptions and change the format there. So that's something really useful if you're a server admin and you're trying to do this in a programmatic way. Uh, something I highly recommend if you have that capability within your team. So that's pretty much it. If you've enjoyed this video, check out more videos on 2020.3 in the playlist. Uh, otherwise, uh, be sure to let us know what other kind of content you'd like to see on the channel. Hit subscribe and um, stay tuned.